Welcome back to another one of Ben's Tech Tips brought to you by SAS Alerts. Continuing our series about respond rules, today I'd like to talk to you about the MFA failures from abusive IP addresses created by Logically. This rule is available via our template library and I'd like to show you how it works and why you should implement it in your system. Let's go ahead and jump into the platform. Once you sign into the platform, we're going to head to respond and then rule templates. And we're going to do a search for logic. This will bring up our MFA fatigue from abusive IP rule. If we hover over this column, we'll see what it's doing. It's looking for MFA failures from IP addresses that are known to have questionable reputations. Let's add this to our platform and take a look at the exact conditions. If we jump over to conditions, we're looking for three occurrences within eight hours from IP addresses that are either known to be anonymous, abuser, attackers, proxy. This rule stands on its own pretty well. There's no changes that I would really make to this other than if you wanted to decrease this time frame, that's fine. However, our system's not going to wait for the eight hours to expire. It's going to say if there's first time that it sees three failures within this eight hour period, it's going to take an action. Let's take a look and see what those actions are. Action is do nothing. And so if we look under our alert configuration, we can see that this will be a critical event, which will generate a ticket. I think do nothing is probably the best course of action since we can assume if they're experiencing large amounts of MFA failures from known abusive IP addresses, that most likely their password has been compromised and will need to be changed. You could disable the account if you wanted to take a more stern stance and there's nothing preventing you from doing that either in this rule or with a second rule based on a schedule. If you have any questions about this rule, feel free to check out our Discord channel or you can also email us at support at sasalerts.com. Thanks for watching this video and remember to cover your SAS.